praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. God is so good. God is so good. He's good. He's good. He's good to me right now. God is good to me right now. God is good. God is good. He's good. You're watching Miracle Temple Church of Deliverance located in Jackson, Mississippi at 601 West Silas Brown Street where the pastor's Dr. T.J. Calhoun. You're at the right place this morning at the right time. You're at the right place this morning at the right time. You can be at the wrong place at the wrong time. You can be at the right place at the right time. I was watching the news the other day, and, and they said somebody got shot because they were at the wrong place at the wrong time. At the wrong place at the wrong time. So if you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time, you can be at the right place at the right time. Amen? You're at the right place this morning. You're at the right place this morning. Look at somebody and say, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. He's a lie. The devil is a lie. He's a lie this morning. Praise the Lord. You're watching Miracle Temple. Amen. We praise the Lord for the man of God who has been teaching us the true word of the Lord. I know you pray for pastors. He pray for you. Let's pray one for another. Let's pray one for another. We praise the Lord for Mother Jones. God bless you. Good to see you, Mother Jones. I bless you today. And good to see your granddaughter and your grandson uh, coming with you. God bless y'all today. Amen. God bless you today. Mother, Mother Amy, God bless you. Good to see y'all. Good to see you, my brother. Good to see you. Amen. Hey, I know that's right. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. We're praying for Mother Roselle and Mother Blackman. Amen. 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 Come on, come on. Start shout to the top of your voice. I'm blessed this morning. Come on, I'm blessed this morning. Come on, I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed. I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed this morning. And if you ain't careful, the devil, listen, the devil is, is conning, he's slick. He'll have you feeling sorry for yourself, having a pity party. He'll have you having a pity party. And you know that you come this far by faith. You know what God has already done for you. Amen. But if you ain't careful, he'll have a, you'll be having a little pity party. But let me, let me just tell you, just be grateful for everything. And you, when he tried to talk to you, just start thanking God. Amen. And, and just thank him. I, I was talking to somebody just yesterday. I was talking to somebody yesterday. I was talking to Sister Lynn. I was talking. They would say, well, my little money. I said, well, first of all, you mess messing up. You can't, you can't talk to money like that. Money, you know, money has a personality. You can't speak to, to little money. You can't do that. You, you got you to gotta talk to money. You got to speak to it. And you got to respect money. They just, you got to respect money. You just got to respect money. And then they said, well, I was just talking about how little I make. I said, well, that's the second problem. If you don't appreciate what you make right now, you're not going to get more. you got to be grateful for where you are. Amen. And, and you know, when you start being grateful, that's when multiplication starts taking place. Just being grateful. I'm just grateful this morning. Come on, tell somebody, I'm just thankful this morning. I'm thankful this morning. I'm thankful for God's goodness. I'm thankful this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful this morning. I'm thankful I was able to dress my own self this morning. I'm thankful this morning. How many thankful folks we got? How many thankful folks we got? I'm just thankful this morning. I'm grateful. I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm grateful. And, and you know, and, uh, and, and it's going to sing in a minute, but you know, old folks, when I was, Younger, they say, for a portion of my strength, for a right mind. I'm thankful for a right mind this morning. I'm thankful for mental clarity this morning. 
that I can do for myself. I'm thankful this morning. As we end into Christmas season, know that this whole it, this whole Christmas season is to be thankful. Be thankful this morning. Amen. Come on, tell come on, tell your name. I'm thankful this morning. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Come on, tell them. Tell you, I'm thankful. On everything God has done for me, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm, I'm just praising God. And, and you know, and we're made in his image. And they've been seen. But let me tell you this. We're made in his image, in his likeness. Don't you want somebody to say thank you to you when you've done something? He want us. He, he's done so much for us. He want to hear us say thank you. Thank you. And the more somebody does say thank you, the more you feel like you feel compelled to want to do something more for them. Have you, have you had somebody that was so appreciative of whatever you did for them and you want to just do more? That's how God is. He said, that's my child. And, and he or she is appreciative of what, they have, what I've done for them. They ain't around here complaining. They just saying thank you. They ain't mumbling and complaining. Because you know the Bible said, then we're going to be singing. The Bible said that God was so grieved when they were complaining. He, he, he said here, repented that he had made man. They, they were sitting here come murmuring and complaining, and they had everything that they had asked for. And, and then they sat here and said, but first they say, we wish we had stayed in Egypt. You're free, and you're free, and you had lots of money. Because the Bible said they came out with silver and gold. And there was none that was sick among them. That's what the Bible said. And then yet they was complaining about what they had. Tell the Lord thank you. Prayer call this evening at 6 o'clock. Prayer call this evening at 6. Prayer call next Sunday is Miracle Sunday. Bring your oil. Next Sunday is Miracle Sunday. This morning at, at the second offering uh, is, is our love offering to say to Pastor, we love you. Merry Christmas to Pastor. We love him. Amen. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the second offering we say to Pastor. We usually don't take a t second offering, but to, it's love, Merry Christmas. Mother Jones and Mother Jones sat here and, and she sent a note and said, make sure I remember that. And I'm going to be obedient and make sure I remember that. Amen. Uh, it's always the second Sunday. I think it's second Sunday in December. Uh, Mother Jones, I'm sure, going to remind me of that every second Sunday. Uh, she sent Keisha over there, Keisha. She told you to tell me, make sure I remember that. And so I'm going to make sure we know. Amen. We love on the man of God. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody I'm blessed this morning. Come on, tell somebody I'm blessed this morning. Come on, I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Come on, let's worship. Come on, let's worship the Lord. I'm blessed this morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm going to give God praise this morning for life, health, and strength. Come on, give God praise. Come on, clap your hands.
the chain out of no way. He broke the chain out of no way. Out of no way. Out of no way. Did he do it for you? Did he do it for you? Out of no way. Just believe and receive it. God will perform it today. Hey, hey. Just believe and receive it. God will perform it today. Hallelujah. Give God praise this morning. Bless his name. Let's give God some praise and thank you for his goodness and mercy. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful, Lord. Let us pray. Oh, my God, we thank you for your blessing, kindness, and love, and tender compassion. Another day and another hour. Look up on us today, Lord, and bless his people today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Why don't you shake, why don't you shake somebody's hand and tell them you're loving today? Thank you, Lord. Wonderful Savior, wonderful Lord. Jesus. Glory. Amen. Truly the Lord is good today. Amen. Thank God for his goodness and for his mercy, kindness and love and tender compassion. How many are glad for the Lord today? Amen. We thank God for what he's doing, how good God is and what God is doing in these services. Can you say amen? Thank God, amen. God is a miracle working God. Amen. Thank God, amen, for those that saw the little puppy, the little dog by the door. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but 114,273 people. 114,273 people saw that little puppy. Can you say amen to all? Amen. That all is important. Can you say amen? Thank God for the new prayer call. New prayer call. I mean, no new. We got amen. 70,831. New folk, going to be praying tonight. I'm lost folk. Amen. 
And this one I had to sit down on. I, amen. I almost had to sit down on this one. I, it was almost too much to stand up for. But people, you wouldn't believe how many folks we reached last week. Seven million five hundred thousand people. Seven million. Huh? Seven million and a half people around the world. A lot of folks is it. Seven million. I had I almost had sat down. <laughs> Amen. Amen. How many people we reach in one single week? One single service. Seven million five hundred thousand. Seven and a half million. Isn't that one number? Amen. DJ, we gonna get there. Maybe why that one of these days, amen. Praise God, amen. Then they're going to get a thousand million in one week. That what it look like. That what <laughs> we can reach it around the four corners of the earth. Amen. I wish everybody, I wish somebody in every part of these, these wherever we heard at, would just write us a note. Let us know you heard this over there. Wouldn't that be nice? Amen. Everybody just sat down and said, hey, praise God. We was in Africa. We was in this place. But we did a lot of praises. Seven million five hundred thousand and a lot of folk. And you say amen again. And we thank God nobody but the Lord. And I said, so we're coming from South of Brown Street. And amen. And <laughs> There's no telling how many we're going to reach now. We, amen. We're going for gold. Yeah. Amen. My singers, they done good. Y'all see you saying y'all look at y'all. Y'all was, they don't tell them where y'all was this last week. <laughs> All over there and <laughs> wherever. Boy, you missed it that time. You mean that singing now? You missed it some, but you know that. Amen. God is so good to us, and we understand that God is blessed. Nobody but God. And we're coming to the end of the end of the year. The end of the year, and we already reaching it look like 130 million people. 130 million already, so we get in a couple more weeks. <laughs> we'll reach 140 million. Can you say amen? Now the folk calls it us. Amen. I'm telling you, it's amen. Reaching a lot of folks. But God is good. Amen. God, He is the author and the finisher of Mirka Temple. God is the author and finisher of the Amen. It, it, it is no secret what God going to do. Because this is his house. His house. Amen. So we're reaching reach 7 million 500 this week. Woo-hoo. <laughs> but God is good. You know, I, I, amen, I praise God. Amen. You know, amen, you're blessed with Mother Jones, you're blessed to be, live to be able to see me at the reach of seven million folk. And them folks down in the grave, amen, could hear the end of the day, they, they shot down there. Tell me. I can hear Mother John pray. Mother, Mother put praise the Lord down there. But in the book of uh, uh, Hebrews, we talking about faith, and I, I say this, Amen. Honestly, is because I, I, when I mention the mouth of people that we're reaching, I make sure I tell them nobody but God. 
that would bless us to reach several million people straight from South of Brownsville. We have no other way of reaching that many folks other than God. Just God for all the way. And he get the glory. If the glory go to God, amen, that he is getting the glory out of what Milton Temple does. Amen. 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 That's what I was supposed to say. In the book of Hebrew, amen, praise God. And we had to talk about faith, because faith is the only thing that helps you to believe that you can do it. Faith is the only thing that makes a person believe that he can do the impossible. Huh? When you have no way of doing the impossible, the only way you can believe you can do it is by faith. Faith that you know that thing that look impossible, huh? It's it not impossible, it's possible. Because that's faith. Faith is just look at what you see. <laughs> that's amazing. That's what you see, huh? You look at what God can do. That's what faith, that's why we've been talking about faith and believing in faith and saying the God that we serve is alive. Living God. Huh? Amen. Is my God not dead? If he's dead, we wouldn't be reaching no seven million people, would we? He's alive. But there we is alive. Can you say that again? God going to do what he's going to do. And nobody can stop God from doing what God going to do. Can you say amen? So you might want to get in it. Get your feet wet. And believe because God going to do it with you or without you. That's the only way I see God going to break this me do this thing with you or without you. Because it's God. Can you say amen? And, 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 and Paul is writing, amen, pray to the Hebrews, and he's writing this. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. As long as you have confidence, you can do anything. The only reason why you can't do it is because you lose confidence. As long as you have confidence, you can do the impossible. Huh? Amen. Those uh, Hebrew boys, amen, praise God. They believed that they could do the impossible. Confident. They had all day they had confidence, had confidence in the God that they were serving, that God could do anything. They knew all the time. That if they didn't obey the king's command, they're going to the fire plane. Huh? But they had confidence and didn't worry about fire. <laughs> they didn't worry about the fire plane. They made up their mind they weren't going to drink the king's wine, not eat the king's meat. Even though they knew they had to go to the fire plane. As long as a person has confidence in God, he's safe. Huh? Faith, you're safe. As long as you have confidence in God, you're safe. I don't care what doctor said. If you keep the confidence, in the other way, keep the faith. Huh? Only thing, only reason why you're going down is because you lose faith. And Paul said to the Hebrews, Amen, cast not therefore, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. That confidence has that has great repent of reward. Glory. 
Amen. All your hope, all your life, all you could ever hope for is in your confidence. Confidence. And what is confidence? You're not shaking. You're not worried. You simply believe it. And the God that you serve will make a way for you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. He will make you whole. He will make your, meet your need. Amen. You have great recompense and reward. The longer you got confidence, you got hope. Even though you don't see hope, you got hope. As long as you hold confidence, that nothing can stop you. The only thing that stops a man is he lose confidence. But as long as you have confidence, nothing on this earth can stop you from being what you want to be. Wow, I like that. Huh? You got to understand, uh, nobody can be what he want to be. If you have confidence. Huh? A wino can be what he wants to be if you have confidence. Stop throw the bottle away. Huh? You change your way of living and believe in the impossible. Huh? It's all the thing, all the thing that make you different, amen. You just, my God, you just believe your God can. You just believe your God will make a way for you. Dark days mean nothing when you got confidence. Because you know the sun going to shine after what? Huh? I don't care how dark it is and how dark it looks. As long as you have confidence, the sun going to shine. I said the sun is going to shine. Huh? Oh, you listen to what I'm saying? When the things are weary, you know what I'm talking about? When you're going through, amen, it's dark. You look weary. Huh? But the minute, huh, things happen and God bless you, the sun shines. That's why the writer said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. No matter how hard I cried last night, if I have confidence, I'm going to laugh in the morning. I'm going to rejoice in the morning. Huh? I said, no matter how hard I cried last night, if I hold on to my confidence in God, I'm going to rejoice in the morning. Wipe away the tears. Wet the pillow. Huh? Come on, I don't tell you, I don't, don't necessarily mean that you ain't cry a little bit and hold your confidence. And sometimes, hey amen, you cry and you don't know why you cry. Say, well, my God, why are you crying? I know I've been crying, I'm crying like a baby, don't know why I'm crying. Things are happening, something good. It's happening to me now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can't say I've had bad days. I've had my bad days. I've had my bad days. But surely I've had my good days. Huh? Hallelujah. God has put laughing into the crown. Joy is still a miserable. I was here to be miserable. I said, God, oh my God, God just put some joy there. Hey, you just like shouting and praise to God. When you couldn't see your way out, hold on to confidence. When you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, hold to confidence. You don't know whether you're going to have a job tomorrow, but hold on to confidence. You don't know where you're going to eat or have a meal on the bar, but hold to the confidence you have in God. 
It was right to say, hold on to God's unchangeable hand. Lord, hallelujah. Just hold that unchangeable hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because he said, I'll never leave you, not forsake you. Lord, I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. I'm going to be with you when you don't even know I'm with you. Hallelujah. I'm going to be with you when you don't even see it. Can't even feel I'm with you. Still with you. Yeah, I know they say this. Uh, uh, amen. The footprint in the sand. I remember the reading that. It says the footprint in the sand. Amen. They we want to walk around that two footprint within the sand. And the man that we got, uh, he said, we with two feet, so two foot. He said, said well, amen. That was good. But all of a sudden, he saw one footprint. Question ideal, why is it just one footprint in the sand? So when you didn't see but one footprint saying, that's when I was carrying you. I was carrying you. I, I care, I, amen. You went down in the sand, you, I was carrying you. Hallelujah. Sometimes God had to carry us. Sometimes God had to just pick us up and carry us. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know whether you've been there or not, but sometimes your problem gets so heavy, you can't solve your problem. You can't bear your problems along, and God won't even let you bear them. He just picked you up and carried you. Huh? So through the rain and through the storm, uh, hallelujah, God is carrying you. Through the wet, amen, bad times and good times, amen. Say, so God is still carrying me. And that's a good thing to think about. I know, praise God, sometimes the people that look like they can't make it, but he says, comfort them. And this is what he says here, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. For you have need of patience. When you're going through, you got to have patience. When your boat, your ship, the, the rock, have, hold on. Have patience. Huh? Well, it look like you can't even see your way. Have patience. Just hold on. Hold that confidence. Because your boat is shaking. Huh? But you ain't worried because you got confidence. That the God that you serve will deliver you. And he's going to deliver you. So you need patience. Because, amen, everything don't happen overnight. But you get everything you ask for. Isn't that amazing? Somebody said, well, praise God, if it don't happen overnight. Yeah, no, 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 everything don't happen overnight, but you get it if you hold on to confidence and patience. You take patience sometimes. It's the patience you possess your soul. Through patience. And don't nobody know what's going on in your mind. Huh? Huh? You hold on to a thread. Look like you fall through any time. But you just have patience and wait on the promise. Because if God promises, he's going to bring it to pass. If God promises it, he's going to make it happen. I don't care how thin it look and how bad it look. If God made that promise to you, he going to fulfill that promise. Amen. Amen. So, well, you know, it look like you're going through it. <laughs> Can you say amen? At the valley of the day, praise God. I know he praise God. I did amen. I was ready. Ready. Amen. 
Men without a job. Monday morning, the man going to come by by 530. Get it ready. 530 that evening, he going to come by. He come by to get his whistle. And the mailman was up there talking. Said, bring in my mail. Five o'clock that evening, he comes up. <laughs> I went up the street and I went back and I said, my, I told my wife, I said, man, ain't up there talking. Knowing he's supposed to have something for me in the mail. Huh? I'm, talking, I'm holding the call with it. Last minute, I'm telling you, are y'all listening to me? It looked like that day he wasn't going to come back. Knowing he had my check. And that was a man. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? And my Lord, we had hold on the cop with us. And when he finally made it by, he had my check. See what I'm talking about? Because God had made a promise he'd never leave me. Now forsake me. Lo, he be with me always. Even to the end of the world. I had to confidently believe that I could trust God. Huh? To pay that bill. Y'all hear me? And I'm telling you, I say, great man for, I don't know how many years I did, I stayed there, and never been missing a payment from there. No one missed one payment because I just kept the faith. Believing that God was going to take care of me. Even the lady, when she got, I first moved there, she said, Calhoun, you going to either pay me my rent or, uh, uh, or give me my house. Yes, ma'am. I said, yes, ma'am, too. I stayed there to Amen and get ready to tear the house down on, on Amen on Chicago Street. She said, Cal, I told you when you come here, you're going to either pay me my rent or uh, 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 give me my house. Now, I'm going to give you a house and you ain't going to leave me. I done got stuck to her now. Move me in another place. Oh, y'all don't have me now? I thought that thing was so good. God was so good in paying the rent. She didn't want to lose me. And every time she got a big play, she put me in it. Here I am in a, a man on, uh, uh, there on Fairmont Street and we live there. She was playing, walked over and said, Calhoun, why would you buy this house? Ah, I knew it was impossible. And that's what he said, and I'll finance it. Hold your car for this. God will take care of his part if you just hold on to what God said and what God told you. And she probably gave me the old house. Everything but give it to me. But you got to hold on to confidence. Believing that God going to do what he said. Well, you have need of patience. And after you have done the will of God, that he may receive the promise. You need some patience after you do the will of God, and you may receive the promise. Huh? Don't tell me the devil ain't going to try you. Don't tell me you ain't going to be tried. Huh? Don't tell me the devil is not going to try you before you get the promise. Uh, don't tell me, praise God, you, know, you, and, and you, you ain't going to have to act, exercise some faith. With, you going to have to exercise some faith when you get that promise. Huh? Believe God, because the devil going to try you. Huh? Or some of this stuff ain't going to be just given to you. Some of this stuff you have to talk to God about. And the devil going to sit up there and make sure that you don't get it. 
And the devil, not that your prayer is not being answered, but the devil is hindering your prayer. Daniel, amen, prayed and sought God and fell down and fasted. 21 days he fasted, sought God, all his heart, waited on God, finally Gabriel showed up. When Gabriel showed up with the news, he said, the first day you prayed, I heard you. I left heaven with your answer. But the prince of Persia was so strong, I couldn't get through. I had to send back for Micah to come back to help me to get to the prince of Persia. He said, he back, and he is holding it back now. I got to leave and get to it. He's back there holding it back, trying to get back to help me. Michael was holding back the Prince of Persia. He said, but the first day that you called upon God, I heard you. Your prayer was answered the very first day you prayed. But the Prince of Persia, the, the devil wouldn't let me get through. It took him 21 days to fight through, to get through with your answer, with his answer. Are you listening? That's why I say you have need of patience. It don't mean God didn't hate you. It means the answer just hadn't got here yet. It don't mean that it ain't on the way. It don't mean that Gabriel is not trying to come to your rescue. It means that you've been tested and you've been tried. Mean that you got a little time to try, be tried. And praise God, amen. But the answer is on the way. That's what it says. It says uh, it's on the way. Huh? My blessing is on the way. Your blessing is on the way. My miracle is on the way. Your miracle is on the way. Come on, it's on the way. Somebody say, I don't see it, but it's on the way. I don't feel it, but it's on the way. Something in is on the way. Gabriel got my blessing. Got your blessing. All you need to do is have some patience that you might get the promise. That's not the way it goes. Now the just shall live by faith. It wind up and say, just going to live by faith. And I, I don't know if you body let you know the just going to live by confidence. Faith is confident. Faith is confident. I know you look at it any way you want to do it. Faith is nothing but the confidence that you have in a person of God. Faith is a belief that you believe that somebody can do something for you that you can't do for yourself. That's what faith is all. It means that you, you, you amen, that, that God can do something for you that you couldn't do for yourself. That's faith. You not only have enough faith to ask him, but you have enough faith to believe that he can do it. Have enough faith to wait on it. Huh? Then wait till your blessing comes. Say it's on the way. So it's just in living by confidence. Not doubt, but confidence. Not writing, but confidence. Living by no. So, no. I know. Well, you know, I know God going to take care of me. I know God comes to my rescue. I know. See, you're not bragging about it. You just know God coming to your rescue. You know God going to make a way for you. You know God is going to do it. You say, amen, that was the only thing about wrong with Daniel, amen, when they put him in the loud then, amen, he knew God was going to take care of him. But the king was in doubt. He said, but if you continue to believe in your God, he will deliver you. God that you believe in, continue. Huh? 
Don't let the devil make you doubt it. Don't make the devil make you turn your back on him. But continually believe in the God that you believe in, and he will deliver you. Wow. That kind of make you want to chat there. Woo, help me chat. <laughs> Let me chat myself, but you may not believe it. That's going to happen. I believe that it's going to come. I believe everything have a season and a time. I believe. I said when it's your time and your season, I believe you're going to get your blessing. I said this, I, I said this, and I said it over again. I believe everybody in this world is going to be blessed one time. I don't know how many times, but I believe everybody is going to receive one blessing. Huh? I, I just believe that everybody going to get happy one time. <laughs> and you ain't got a season yet to wait on your season. You got a season coming. Huh? You got a season that you're going to be thankful. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for blessing me from nowhere. You don't know where it's coming from, but it, I, Lord, that blessing come from nowhere. I didn't even know it was coming. You know, when the man came to my house, he praised God. I don't know what he's saving us. He said, Calhoun, you believe God. God going to bless you. I don't know which way he's coming. Where he's coming through the window, coming through the door. But you believe it. And I say, yes, Lord. <laughs> and somebody say, don't you believe that? That's a lie. Yes, Lord. Here, I'm, here I am sitting up in the house, and amen, praise God. And I'm telling you, God, I had old brother, he was drunk. He drank a lot, he says, amen. He come down the street, and that dude come down the street, he was staggering and fighting with the lights on. And he was staggering. He staggered right on up my step, staggered right on in that house, took a piece of money in my hand, and staggered right on back out. I said, hey! Look at it. <laughs> the man said, it's coming. The blessing is coming. You don't know which way it's coming. Whether it's coming to the window or coming to the door, but it's going to come. But I said, yes, Lord. If somebody tell me I want to be blessed, I'm going to say, yes, Lord. You tell me God gonna bless me, I'm gonna say yes, Lord. I ain't gonna doubt it. I ain't gonna rain your hand on me about it. I'm gonna say yes, Lord. <laughs> he said, Amen. He just said, live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Drawing back in doubt and unbelief. Draw doubt in God. Can God question God? Question his ability to can God. And children of Israel, can God punch the table in the wilderness? Can God give us flesh to eat? Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Can God? And God hurt and God got angry because they limit and tempt limit the Holy One of Israel. They limit God. Put a limit on God. Can God? No, we God. God can. Don't put no little say God can. God. God can do anything. Can God punch the table in the wilderness? God can punch. Yes, God can punch the table. Huh? Hey, anyway, can God make a way out of no way? Yes, He can. Huh? Can God open doors for you? Yes, He can. Huh? God can make ways that you never thought that He could make for you. Honey, and that's why you had to believe God for God making a way. Have you ever thought about it? Amen, praise God. You wouldn't have no way if God didn't make you. Good thing. How? Because God made a way. God just make a way. Huh? God just opened you a door. You ever been behind a wall that looked like woodland? And you a wall. And all of a sudden, God made a door through the wall. Oh, God made a door through the wall. 
God talk to me a lot, but I have written a lot of things, amen, praise God, to find you. Find you, not just, just edit it. You think it's really well, you do you really believe? Yeah, I believe it. I've been, I've been places, amen, and says, to, to get a call. He said, when you get certain places, leave your car door open. And I'm going to leave that car door open. When I get back to the car, he has a big old hundred dollars. Man, come by at my house, amen, praise God. Amen. Uh, gate. Had a gate open, had a little place there. He spent the money in the gate. Hundred dollar bill. I said he was somewhere in the city right there, but any day I may see his face again. I knew he'd come and I made his face wasn't put that money. <laughs> he come by and put that hundred dollar bill in there. So you can't put a limit on God. And you can't say which way God's going to work. Because you don't know how God's going to work. Huh? God work in ways that you wouldn't even be with him. And that's why most folks miss him. We miss him because we don't believe what God can do it. Can you say amen? So what can God do? God can do anything. I told this long and old, praise God. God told me to get a walk, man. I had a car. Walk down the cab, walk down, down to Tab, uh, Barry Street and Captain Street and got down the phone and scanned me. I mean, that was a long time ago. I walked down there and got me a take me a seat. They said, sit down. Took me a seat. I'm standing there. Looked like wasn't nothing going to happen. I went in there. Still standing there. And there's something is going to happen. So I told me to stand there. All of a sudden, I know I've told this all over, whole line of women. Whole line of women come down and come down to Captain Street. And they were keeping up loud the fuss and they were talking loud. And they had to cross past that corner, and I'm standing right here. See, and every time one passed by that, they, they shake my hand and put a bill in it. Look at God. Huh? Look at God. And I told this over and over again, amen. The last one came by, amen, her hands were cold. I said, I know that's a prostitute. But it was money. <laughs> huh? I said it was money, praise God. What I'm saying is, hold to the promise. Confident. That God going to take care of you. You may not never have come to the place where you needed God to do it, but if you have come to that place, God will provide for you. Stand to your feet and let's give God some praise. Thank him for another day, another hour, another time to find goodness. Glory to God. Glory to God. I tell you, God is so good. Amen. Anybody just need prayer? You feel like you need some prayer. And you know, and undoubtedly, if somebody don't need prayer, then Nobody don't need prayer.
Change your thinking in that place. Amen. Change your thinking. God help us. Glory to God. Change your thinking, my God. Change your thinking. Change your thinking. Change.